Hey guys, it's Paul from the North End. How are you? This will be the first ever YouTube video thing we've done where we're trying our hand at doing a little bit more original content. Uh, it, we're gonna focus, I think, moving forward on transfer speculation and transfer news as much as we can. Uh, we love that stuff in the North End. We love the silly season games of all the madness and all the rumors. So we thought we may try to turn that into kind of ongoing content on YouTube as we launch our YouTube channel. So if you like it, please follow us. If you don't, we'll try to get better. And if you really don't, well, who needs you anyways? Uh, so let's just get right into it. We're gonna cover off some silly season rumors. Some of it's gonna be garbage. Some of it's gonna be maybe something real and maybe something to get excited about. But uh, you know, most of it will probably be garbage. But let's get into it. First on the docket is Raphael Varane. If you don't know who Raphael Varane is, I don't know if you're following the right YouTube channel, to be honest. Uh, but it is rumored that the Real Madrid center back and France center back, national, uh, is looking for a new deal, a move away from Real Madrid, uh, who just learned, uh, uh, just lost Sergio Ramos, sorry, to Paris Saint Germain, um, and is now linked with who other than Man United, who are going to be in the top of the list for anybody attached to a center back. Uh, this is an interesting one. There is a certain game that could get played with Real Madrid and a Real Madrid player where the dangling of we might sign a contract with with uh, Manchester United might just be a negotiations ploy. Um, Sergio Ramos did the same thing not that long ago. They used or he used or his agent used or his crew used um, Man United to, to fuel the speculation and the fire. Um, as he was negotiating a new deal with Real Madrid. That might be what's going on here again. If he really does want to move on from Real Madrid, I can't say I blame him. It's a little bit of a mess over there. Spain, La Liga in general, but the actual organization is a bit of a mess. Uh, and it might be one of the reasons why Ramos decided to bounce out. Um, so eh, there's something to it. I still suspect Real Madrid probably is going to be the team that ends up keeping him. If it's not Man United, I also feel like PSG is maybe ahead of that, um, being that it's a, you know, it's, it's Paris, it's the nation's capital of France. Um, and they've got a project that might be more appealing than what Man United kind of represent right now. Um, if it happens, as a Man United fan, phenomenal. Uh, Mafa Varane pairing uh, Harry Maguire, uh, two 28 year olds, two proven vets, two international high level players. I love it. I, I he's he's got speed he can compensate for what Maguire does not so well so if this happens I would get excited I just don't think it's time to be excited yet next up is Ruben Neves from Wolves 24 year old midfield player from Wolves I love this guy if you don't know I'm a huge Ruben Neves fan um I I think he's got a head on his shoulders that's well above his age. He's had that for many years. He helped Wolves get promoted. He's doing something that's a little bit uh, uncharacteristic for a lot of players. He deliberately went to a championship level team. He brought them up. He's been with them ever since. They're they're probably in a transitionary stage as an organization. They just let go of their, their manager. Um, I think this is going to be the model for Wolves where they get rid of some of the talent. They bring in some money. I think they're looking to be a maintained, regular Premier League club, and I think that's part of the, the churn and gurn of doing that. So Ruben Neves being sold is interesting. Being sold to Arsenal is also an interesting development. Uh, there's a lot of talk that Jaka is going to be on the move, um, that potentially Mourinho wants to bring him to Roma. If that happens, they are going to be in need of somebody in that ball-controlling center of the midfield uh, partner for Thomas Partey kind of mold, and I think Ruben Neves is a great shout. I think Arsenal would be getting themselves a hell of a player. I just question whether or not he would be satisfied with what Arsenal are right now, which is not a Champions League team, which is not necessarily a team that's in the best condition. I think Ruben Neves is, is talented enough and is at the age profile that he could go somewhere else. I think there are probably better options for him if Wolves are looking to, to, to move him on. Um, so unless Arsenal are going for a big purchase at a big price tag and they're only ones willing to spend that money, um, I think it's more a question of uh, is Ruben Neves going to be happy going to Arsenal? I feel like there's probably something to this rumor. I feel like that's something probably getting looked into, but I would be surprised if Neves ended up going to Arsenal. 
Um, no disrespect for Arsenal by any means. I just feel like this guy is so good. He needs Champions League. He needs a better team. He needs a better club. In England or outside England, I'm not sure. But I don't think it's Arsenal. Not for me. Anyways, I could be wrong. Next on the docket uh, is two rumored players to go to Liverpool. The reason why we're talking about River Liverpool specifically is that uh, Gigi Wijnaldum uh, moved on from Liverpool. He signed for PSG. Uh, that leaves them theoretically in need of a midfield player. Uh, you know, there's some debate whether or not that's actually the case. If you actually go through the players that Liverpool have right now, um, they were hit, decimated rather, by injuries last year. So you may feel like they need reinforcements in the midfield, but they're stacked. Like they actually are really stacked in the midfield. So I don't know that they need a like-for-like -like replacement. And a lot of the rumors we're about to talk about are, are the, they're grounded in the idea that when Gigi went, they needed to bring somebody in. And I just don't know if that's the case. Uh, Fabinho, Jordan Henderson, Thiago Antera, um, Keita, Jones, James Milner, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Like, these are all guys who do the job in the midfield. So I don't know that you need to bring in somebody else in addition to. But if that is the idea and they are looking for somebody to bring in, the names that are being attached to Liverpool right now for midfield replacements for Gigi Wijnaldum are... Yuri Tillemans, or Yuri Tillemans, uh, 24, Belgian, had a decent little Euro. Um, I mean, if you don't know this guy, then you're maybe not a Premier League fan. He's been doing the business for Leicester for a couple of seasons now. He foregoed bigger clubs to go to that project, to get the playing time, to turn himself into the player that could turn into a regular for a top team. So this is the kind of offer I'm sure he's looking for. Um, a lot of the rumors are fueled by the fact that at the last game he played, um, not ever, but the last game he played most recently for Leicester, he made a point of walking around the field and applauding the fans. That could mean so many different things, but all the headlines were, that's his wave goodbye, clap goodbye. It could have just been as simple as, he missed the fans. It was the end of the season. I mean, is that so far-fetched that a player wants to like just cheer on the fans while he has a chance to? Could have been a goodbye. I just suspect that a lot of these storylines are attributing that as being proof that he's going to go, which is maybe flawed if he does go phenomenal midfield player is a box-to-box -box midfield player has got a great touch he's tactically astute he's very flexible he would be a great signing for anybody to get some specifically Liverpool I can see him really working well for the high tempo um, game that Klopp plays uh, I just have my doubts whether or not Leicester would in, in the position they are now which is they're a good Premier League team they're they're top six they're going to be competing again for top four in my opinion I don't know if they would be willing to sell him and if they did sell him I think they would price it out so heavily that uh, you'd have another situation like Manchester United and Harry Maguire where 80 million was the number for a center back and it's just because they didn't really want to sell him and they could get a ton of money for him so I see this being a, a non-starter I can see this being a Leicester don't want to sell Liverpool probably wouldn't want to spend the kind of money that we're probably going to have to to pry him away from Leicester um, you know, maybe Tielemans does something to push the move, but I would be a little bit surprised by all this. Uh, so for me, it's a possibility. I just don't see it happening for Liverpool, which brings me to the next player. The next on the docket for Liverpool, the player they're most attached to as a replacement for Gigi Wijnaldum is uh, Sal Niguez from Atletico Madrid, champions of Spain, 26 years old, midfield player, phenomenally, ta he's just a great player. He's technical. He's got a hell of an engine on him. He's got a lot of character. He's a player that is just hugely respected. Has been for a long time. Everybody raves about his ability. Um, is maybe coming to a stage in his career where he's on the downside. Injuries have um, taken a lot of minutes out of his game. Um, Atletico Madrid may be comfortable parting with him. They recently signed an Argentinian um, that is kind of regarded as being maybe his replacement, Rodrigo De Paul. So there is something to him moving on, I think. Um, and I think Liverpool would be a good fit for sure. I think he'd be a good fit. If you can imagine um, Sal Niguez, if you know anything about him, partnering uh, Thiago Antotera in the, in the center of that Klopp offense, um, that could be magic. Uh, or they could hold the ball on way too long and, and it doesn't work at all. It could be one or the other. I think this could happen. I think this is a deal that um, Liverpool will have to 
fight off other suitors. I don't see this happening exclusively as a, a one club in for him deal. Um, so I would watch this space. Uh, I would not be surprised to see Salaguez uh, join the club experiment because I feel like that would be a good fit for him where he's at his career. I think he could see the value. I think he could make a case of walking into that starting 11 and proving it. I think he'll feel pretty good about his chances. Um, but I go back to will the Liverpool ownership spend more money in the midfield when they are pretty stacked there. I think they can make a case saying that they, they have a lot of bodies in that midfield. Um, I, I personally would hate to see him. I'm, I'm a Man United fan. I, I would hate to see him at Liverpool. That would break my heart. I really like this player. He's great to watch. Um, but it's a possibility. The next on the list, the the name that until he gets moved on from Borussia Dortmund will constantly be attached to some club, one club, every club, um, is Erling Holland. If you don't know who he is, again, probably shouldn't be watching this YouTube channel. He is the youngest, most gifted, most hyped up monster of a player uh, who scores goals from fun. He's a big body nine. He plays for Borussia Dortmund. Dortmund. Um, he's got an real scumbag agent his dad is involved his dad's not a scumbag but he seems like he's heavily involved you have to pay the dad the agent the club uh quotes of in excess of 100 plus 150 plus million have been from touted around for this guy he's got a buyout clause next season which is dramatically lower it's something closer to 60 or 70 uh so chelsea have been attached to this guy and i feel like the reason why they're attached to this guy is they're not afraid to spend the money. It's clear that Chelsea could benefit from having a regular goal scoring nine in their setup. So it makes sense why they would be attached to this guy, but I just cannot see a team that wanted 120, 130 million for Jaden Sancho last year, accepting anything, anything less than 140, 150 for Holland this year. Uh, I think they'll be very comfortable holding on to him for one more season and selling him on, eventually next season for the bio clause 60 or 70 million they bought him for something ridiculous like 15 so it's all profit um so i i do not think this one's going to happen i think this is going to be an ongoing rumor until the end of the transfer window but i think you're going to see this guy attached to real madrid barcelona chelsea uh liverpool man united i think everybody uh Man manchester city i think you're just going to see crazy rumors of this guy and i think at the end of the day bruce and Dortmund will not be selling him this season they're too pragmatic the germans are too pragmatic to move them on anyways so that's been the top news the top rumors uh we will try to make more of these we'll try to address all the rumors as they happen uh more video content please bear with us as we figure out how to do this um hopefully it didn't suck and if you liked it smash the like button is that what they say i don't even know i gotta learn how to do this youtube stuff anyways i'm paul from the north end talk to you guys later